Tommy, thanks for getting down here so quickly. Yeah, sure thing, boss. What do you need? You know, there's a race coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Polly and Sam have some money on uh, the local. Mikey Dunn. That's the guy. He's a good kid, but a bit of a scrapper. Not too smart with his money. A few years ago, Mikey comes to me asking for a loan. He wants to get new tires so he can keep racing junkers out at the quarry. Mm. I like fast cars. I figured it'll be a bit of a hobby. Turns out, <laughs> Mikey's a great investment. The kid can't lose a race if he walks the track. He graduates from the junkers to gal jobs, and I start placing a few bets on him here and there. Next thing I know, I've made all my money back and more. Hey, uh, Sam says he's the guy to beat. He was. We ran all the competition out of town. But now Ralph says there's a hotshot European entering the race. And he's got a car faster than our boys by a country mile. How much do we stand to lose? A truckload. But not just our outfit. A lot of guys from the neighborhood come to me for financial advice. They've all put money down on this kid. It'll be like Black Thursday around here if he loses. Well, for everyone except Morello. Oh, you think he's from the European? Oh, I'm certain of it. He wants something to happen to the driver. Can't find them. Merle's got him holed up somewhere safe. Besides, if he drops out or disappears now, none of our wagers will stand. Everyone will cry foul, say the race is fixed. What about his car? That's the ticket, Tommy. Ralph knows a guard at the track. You go down there tonight, you boost the European's car, Bring it to one of our mechanics. I'll make a few adjustments. You bring the car back. Should be no problem, boss. Sarah, can I get a drink here? As soon as you're ready. Sure thing. Your pop letting you out for the race? You kidding? Feels like we're up and moving it to the stands. All right. We gotta talk to Ralph. Let's see what this is. Race day approaches. Right, Look so this at this the... app portion. Where were you last night? I was with you. You go on ahead, Tom. I'll deal with this mook. Polly, he drove you home. Oh, yeah. Christ, that was some night. Hmm. For you, man. They, some they went out. <laughs> Not so much. Six. Hey, hey. Buona sera, Tom. Hmm. So that's a five, a six. Hey, Titi Tommy. Big day coming up, right? right? You, you, you seen the race before? Uh, kind of hard to miss. Celieri isn't going to let Morello break his winning streak, huh? No, no, sir. Got to send him a message. So, tonight, we will borrow his guy's motor from the track. My friend Bobby is a guard. For a little dough, he'll show you where it is. Then look someplace else while you t -t -t turn the key. I like Bobby already. Sh sure. And then there's this other guy, Lolo Lucas Bertone. You take the car to him down under the Ju Ju Giuliano Bridge. He'll, you know, tune it a little. Make the race tomorrow more, more, more interesting. Then I take the car straight back and Bobby can stop looking someplace else. But you gotta be quick. B -b Bobby comes off shift at 1.30 and then the next guy, he's an ass. Okay, seems like oh, a good plan. Hey, if you need somewhere to keep your m -m motor safe where no one can take them, Feel free to use the garage. Carlo finally got around to clearing it out. Thanks. Good to know. All right. And so I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a personal garage. Yep. Six out of thirty-eight own. Oh. All right. I like how it revs it whenever you actually go load the car. And I'm pretty sure the rest, of the other five vehicles, are the ones I get from pre-ordering the game. It's called Drifter. Go ahead and take this one out. Mmm. Oh my god. She's way faster than any other every other car drives already. Okay, I forgot how to put on the speed limit. Uh alright, I figured it out. It was touchpad. I forgot how to turn on the limiter, but I'm probably gonna need it just because this thing is probably gonna try to go way faster than that I wanted to Let me go ahead and cruise over there. We're gonna meet with the guard at the racetrack. I already made it. Over here, I think this is gonna be the guard I'm gonna talk to. You, Bobby. Yep. We can take your car to the garage. Place is empty. 
Any friend of Ralphie's a friend of mine. I mean, if you got the money, sure. Yes, I did. I did accidentally crash somewhere. <sighs> Tomorrow morning, tomorrow morning they start coming. Whole city. They smuggle in hooch. There's fighting. I hate it. Ah, come on. Name a better place to pick up a thing than this place this weekend. Don't get me started. Things I've seen. Okay, this is it. Hey. We gotta follow this dude. I guess this is gonna be the car for the, that's gonna be in the race. Here she is. 1929 Carazella C Series. Best in class. It's a shame you gotta wreck it. If they see this down the road, cops are gonna ask questions. And they catch up, sure. Try to keep it in one piece, too, huh? So, I gotta be back from Berton by 1.30 before the next guy shift. Yeah, he's an ass. I heard. Oh, can I get it? I can get out? <gasps> yes, okay. Oh, dang, it's okay. The timer started, but I just wanted to hear it. Start up again. It's not way too good. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, this is freaking awesome. <laughs> the pops. You you know the car was like at when you let off, it just freaking pops and keeps playing. Oh no. Oh bruh. <laughs> Try to be careful. Well, I, I didn't play all these Need for Speed games for nothing. Well, we'll try hard mode. Let's get it. <laughs> will, will, will we hit it 100? <laughs> So they did they did such a good job of making it like a hundred seem really fast in this game. In any other game, a hundred is like nothing. Oh, my bad. My bad, buddy. Go full speed. Why is this so much fun? I drove the corner. There's a cop right there. Uh, holy shit. Stolen car downtown. Get onto it, please. Oh, there's a cop right there. Oh, he made it just in time. Tommy Angelo. Lucas Bertoni. Oh, ain't she a thing of beauty? We don't have much time. Hey, I'm a fast worker. Sit tight. Hello, you. Thanks, Lucas. I gotta get back before anyone catches on. Go easy with her. She's gonna misbehave. Hey, tell Mr. Salieri, I'm always available for this kind of work. I do stuff for a lot of people, but I always know where I stand with you guys. Hot cars, getaways, anything for the right price. Let's just hope Salieri's guy wins tomorrow. For all our sakes. Okay, drive careful. All right, let's get it. Oh, okay, nice job. We gotta get back. Oh, okay, we can't let it get too hot. 
Gotta make sure the cops don't get on us again. Oh, sorry, it's jolting so like by itself so it's changing the stick I can't it's kinda hard to control so oh. he did a good job messing it up. <laughs> no 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 Yeah did he mess up the brakes too? This dude just messed up the entire car. Oh crap, oh crap, oh, bruh, yeah, not, I swear, legit every game, instead of and the AI driving away from you to save their life, they'd rather hit you on, just to mess you up, like, bruh, come on. Christ. Good to go. Drives like a jalopy. Okay, let's get out of here. Big day tomorrow. So Sam walks out of the bathroom, and I'm praying he's got a piece on it. Cause I'm not sure the bartender's gonna hand over what he owes. And his two sons, they're inching closer. I can hear them cracking their knuckles. They're both seven feet tall, built like brick shit houses. What were you carrying? My dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. This crazy bastard, he waltzes out of the bathroom, just starts pissing all over the joint. <laughs> really? What, he didn't call the cops? Nah. Sometimes you just gotta make them think you're crazy. <laughs> Tom. You got the moments. Oh. Jeffrey. We've got a bit of a situation. Is the boss okay? Oh, yeah, it's nothing like that. Mikey Dunn, our driver. Some of Morello's guys roughed him up pretty good last night. Broke his arm, broke his jaw, sent him to the hospital. <sighs> Jesus. Yeah, tough locker for Mikey. Anyway, you're going to race for him. Wait, what? Frank, Tom, I don't know. It's a half hour before the starting gun goes off, so this is not a discussion. The Don wants to win, but more importantly, he wants Morello to lose. And you are our best wheelman. Otherwise, I'd be talking to someone else. Yeah. Okay, Frank. Good. Rafi has the car gassed and ready. Get to the track right away. This is how we get into the, the race. Martin Lichtenberg taking some time out of the International Series to compete with us today. Got some news from the grid here. Lost heaven local favorite Mikey Dunn is out. Replacing him is uh, Tommy Angelo. Well, I'm sure you'll all join me in wishing him good luck. I really did it in last grid. place. Here. ready to start. <laughs> Let's go. Let's get it. Lichtenberg's in trouble. There's something up with his car. Lichtenberg is out. The favorite is out. Who's going to survive the Lost Heaven? Him? You asshole! And I think the collision is Out there, hopefully, nothing serious. All right, we good, we good, we good. 
Okay, making our way up. Right here. Are these the final podium places, or is it someone else's time to shine? Okay, made it third place. There's three laps in this thing. Still left to go. There's a little hump right over right there. Either. Some drivers really starting to stretch out ahead now. Oh, oh, crap! Jesus! Me not breaking early definitely didn't help me caught up, but I think we gotta be careful. Um, Him? Angelo there, back in the lead. Got it, got it, we got it. And now we gotta drive smart. It's a tight pack as they fight for first. Alright, let's go. A lot of people say this race is like really, really hard. Oh no! Alright, there we go. We good. That's what I get for jinxing it. <laughs> yeah, so right behind me. Stretch. Now right, he's catching up. The leading drivers are on the final lap. That's You're no good. Over, oh no! Oh no! no. Jesus! Let's hope for a safe race today, folks. The Blitzenberg no longer a contender. The front three are jostling for position. Nice lap. Right here. Newcomer Tommy Angelo is still out in front. That corner is definitely my worst corner. But we did. Catch him there. Angelo is still out in front. Can he hold on? Stretch. There you go. Home stretch, baby. First place. Let's go. We got it. Tom, just want to thank you for stepping in like you did. I had six months rent riding on that race. 
I'd be homeless now if not for you. I just did what the Don asked, Lucas. Well, you gotta let me find a way to repay you. Just stop by my garage when you get a chance. I might have a line on something that'll turn a buck for you. Sure. Thanks. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Tom. You ain't us all a lot of money today. Amarillo's gonna be picking up pennies off the sidewalk for weeks. <laughs> hey, what about the European? He's probably wearing cement boots by now, the poor bastard. <sighs> Here. You earned every dollar of this. Take your girl out somewhere nice. Thanks, boss. Up, boys. You got a girl, right? I don't want you blowing all that on booze and whores. Huh? Nah, but uh, maybe I'll buy my mom a new coat. <laughs> Good boy. Go get yourself a drink. Congratulations, big hero. Nah, I just got luckies off. Well, I had my money on the other guys, so drinks are on you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there. Now you're ready for the pictures. Thanks. And hey, when you're done celebrating, you might want to go find your buddy Polly. He's so drunk, he's gonna get hit by a parked car. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll get him home safe. Now we gotta find Polly. Hey, I guess I'll talk to her. Holly and the rest of your pals have drunk through half my bar already. You found him yet? That's all for another year, uh, folks. Track will be open until six. Please leave when requested. I'll talk to him. Yo, mama made that work easy to Tatami. When they starts to started racing here 20 years ago, most guys did, did, didn't even make the finish. Ah, magic's in the motor, Ralph. I just showed him where to go. Hey, you seen Polly? Don't know. He said he was uh, uh, hungry or something. Okay. You enjoy yourself. She sure, sure, sure will, Tom. Thanks. All right. Talk to him real quick. That win just put my daughter through another year at school, Tom. Hey, how you doing? Well, enjoy the moment. But the deal with Polly before he embarrasses himself and the family. I will not let the boss's day end sourly. You don't have to worry, Frank. I'll find him. Great race, champ. Hey, last time I saw you drive like that, Tom, I had a gun to your head. You saying there wasn't one today? <laughs> when our side of town is drowning in dough, that means you're safe. Hey, you seen Polly? Guy soused. Came through walking sideways. Yeah, I heard. Starts to try to How'd you drive after the tuna? Tried to go sidelong at a five brick walls, but we made it. You seen Polly any place? Came by five minutes ago, maybe. Looked like it had a smell from the barrel. Sounds about right. Thanks, Lucas. What we got here? We got a diamond detective. Another collectible. I see the orange radius over here. Okay, talk to this dude. Oh, thank Christ you're here. If your friend keeps this up, the other guy's gonna send the cops over. Yeah, I think Polly's big day at the track's over. Oh, here's Polly. Cow says moo, and the chicken says quack. What does the bird say? I don't know, but the security guy back there says you gotta go home. That's an asshole. You should show some respect! Well, that's true, but I'm saying you gotta go home, too, before you resurface the pit lane. Well, okay then. I guess. <laughs> Let's go, Jim. Night. Damn, man. What's up, Polly? Alright. Can you get in the car and take this dude home? Sleep it off. Have a nice hangover in the morning. <laughs> did real good today, Tommy, with the, the, the driving. I was right. I was right when I found you. You know what I said? What did you say, Polly? I said this guy can drive, Don Salieri. This is a guy who can drive. And here we are. Here we are. Right here. 
That's where we are. You put me to shame, Tom. Look at you. Now you're even a some kind of race car driver. We all got a you're doing real good since you joined the family, but you know you got it easy, right? <laughs> Me and Sam, we keep the real stuff from you. That right, huh? You don't know what it's like. You get the call to see the dawn and your mind's racing. Then some bad shit, Tom. We're all in this together. I do what the dawn asks when he asks it. Just like you. You're like me, you can't just shut it down. Blank it out like Sam does. Go home to... <laughs> Whoever the hell he goes home to. Bali, you're drunk. You're gonna have to clam up for your own sakes. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Tom, I wanna go with the lady. Uh, I'm not helping you with that today. Take me to the ladies! Take me to the Blue Tropics. I don't know, I ought to take you home. The bridge. Take the bridge over to the island. Take me to the ladies. Take me to those sweet patooties. I don't know. Taking you home seems more classy. All right, now we're talking. Oh, boy. You should see these dames, Tom. Ooh-hoo-hoo. I'll leave it to you to swim with the barracudas, Polly. You're going to have to tell me where the hell I'm driving. You don't know? I don't know. It's... there's a blue sign. Gonna need more than that. There's a blue sign and it says Blue Tropics and it's right near the docks. <sighs> Figures. Uh, home? Brought me home. Mm, maybe... maybe that's... yeah, a good idea. Yeah, well, okay, I'm gonna... Sweet dreams, tough guy. Uh, I'm gonna... Yeah, I... I don't feel so good. Huh. Now we can drop them home. Clear the mission, fair play.